the resist that I work with is an emulsified wax. It's water-based and you can add color to it. So in today's segment, I'm going to show you how this is done. And uh, also I'll cover some of the problems that you might run into and how you can easily correct them. Now that the good has been poured into the cone, it is now time to practice using the applicator. What I want you to do is to get uh, an 8 by 11 sheet of paper and just that practice using the cone on the paper as if you were drawing on silk. So the more practice you get, the better it will come out. So this is the uh, resist applicator. It's got uh, black wax inside. And of course the black was added earlier um, using a water-based silk paint. So in order to create a straight line or a clean line, it is important that as you are drawing with the applicator, you hold it near the center and you squeeze as you draw. And also, um, you glide of over the surface. You don't press into it. So it is a squeezing and drawing at the same time. You don't just squeeze everything right out. You gradually squeeze and draw. So here we go. Squeeze and draw. You keep doing this until you are able to achieve lines that are unbroken and to the size that you like. Sometimes you will find that the resist um, does not come out of the cone properly. It uh, either pours out too quickly or comes out in segments. Now, there could be two reasons for this. Uh, either the applicator is empty or the, um, what's inside the applicator is uh, maybe too thick or too thin. If it's too thick, it's not going to come out uh, evenly. If it's too thin, by, by thin I mean if it runs too quickly, it will spread on the silk and make a very wide resist line. The way to fix this is quite simple. Um, you pour the contents inside the applicator back into the original batch and mix. And then of course you're going to have to test the fluidity of the what's inside the jar. And if it's still too thick, you might have to add some water to it. Once that's done, you pour back into a new cone and off you go. The resist in this applicator is no longer coming out like I wanted to, so I'm going to pour it back into the original batch and uh, I'm just going to mix it in properly okay we can see that it's not coming out well actually this the consistency is quite nice but if if you find it's not uh, pouring like warm honey just add more water a little bit at a time nice and to dry and you won't end up making that costly mistake because let's face it if the resist is spread and over the silk and it's, it looks like a very big mistake there's no removing it so there's no, there's no second chance you can't wash it out um, so the simple thing to do is just work in in sections of, in one section at a time and give it time to dry at least 10 minutes Okay, I'm about to start applying the resist. Now, notice my arm is extended right out. It's over the silk. When you're using a, an applicator, you don't want to be tied up into a tight bunch like this. You want to be have your arm hanging loose, and you simply just apply the resist. OK, 
Okay, we'll let this dry for 10 minutes, but if, you, if you're careful enough, you can put the next section right here. So this section here had been done earlier, about 15 minutes ago, and you will notice that the lines are not uh, shiny. This area here is, looks shiny, so it's wet. We do not want to work anywhere near here, so I'm going to spin the image around and work on a different section of the pattern. And here we apply the resist. Just a simple squeezing and moving your hand at a certain speed will give you a certain thickness of line. Now, after squeezing, I allow the applicator to fill out again. So I squeeze, draw, open my hand and allow it to expand again, almost like lungs breathing. So I'm going to do it again. I'm squeezing and moving. And as I stop, I open my hands to allow the expansion of the applicator. What this does is it creates a, a pump-like action. You squeeze and push out, open up again, draw in more resist down to the bottom, and then squeeze it out again. Also, when you're not using the applicator, use a simple pin into the tip. So you've just completed putting on all the wax resist onto the silk. And there are no leaks, there are no cracks. If there are, you fill them in. So the next step would be to uh, take it to the silk stretcher where you'll be suspending the silk and actually applying paint. And this will be the next section that I'll be filming soon. Thank you for watching.